this is the key fob as you can see it is nice Now this is a 2017 Subaru Impreza. Uh, this is how it looks like from the back side. As you can see it looks nice. It has some very nice uh, tail lights that now cut into the boot of this car. Okay. Yeah. So we get the standard features. Uh, this is a 2 litre petrol engine that runs on a CBT transmission. Yeah, as always, you know, it's an all-wheel drive or an all-wheel symmetrical drive by Subaru. Sawa, sawa. So let us start from the front side here. Uh, or in general, the car looks nice. Uh, the design is uh, awesome. It is amazing with the updated features uh, from the safety features, the suspensions, the interior quality, the front side and also the back side. So let us start with what we see on the front. Let us start with the headlights. Yeah, now we have a very nice headlights here. They have daytime running lights that are that runs all the way from this side down to this side here. So they are very nice. Then you have a full LED headlight. You have your turn signal over here, so that is quite nice. You have your headlight uh, or headlamp washers. Then you have your halogen fog lights here. Yeah, that has a plastic cladding on it and some chrome finish on next to it then on the front side uh, we have that typical subaru look so there is no much difference from the rest of the subarus okay now on the tires we have some very nice tires over here uh, from ice guard Toko, uh, yokohama tires japan so these are the ice guard so these are not the floating tires these are just the standard tires you can use to cruise it anywhere within okay so uh these are 18 inch tires as you can see here they are low profile tires so these are not uh, meant for our roads maybe if you can go for better tires then uh, these would not serve you at all okay but uh, either way it looks nice uh, the car rides a little bit low being a hatchback it has a very low ground clearance but that's not an issue you can increase it at any moment then you have the, these lines here that cut all through the boots from sorry not the boot the bonnet from the start here all the way to the edge here now then uh, you get this plastic uh, feature here that protects your windshield so, so from the heat that comes from the engine now let us go all the way to the back side you get uh, these standard side mirrors that have uh, turn signals integrated here and then on the panel all the way to the back you don't have so many features here maybe this line here that starts and uh, it's elevated somehow all the way to the back side so, so yeah so that is very uh, nice then on the back side you still have the same size tires uh, you have a spoiler here it's not very large a uh, very small spoiler that had a, has brake light integrated you have your aerial fin over there and then you have this sloppy hatchback design okay it's not very large but i think it's nice though somehow it tends to cut into the boot space and limits on the uh, cargo space so, so, but that's not an issue now you have these led tail lights as you can see here but the turn signals and uh, your brake lights are not full led so, so it's only the brake lights yeah that are leds so, so. you have uh, reflectors here and this plastic cladding here as the rear bumper okay you have your symmetrical all-wheel drive badge here you have your subaru emblem and then you have your subaru uh, badge also so so, so uh, let us not waste a lot of time let us go into the interior and see what we get here we start with the passenger door or the passenger side so this is the right passenger door this is what you get you get a lot of plastic finish you have a plastic carbon here i think these are just um, designed as carbon but they're not carbon you have a chrome handle very nice plastic then you have this leather pad here i think this is because uh, it is an armrest so it has some leather this side is just fabric you have a very nice speaker and then uh, your space for your water bottles there then uh, this is how generally the interior looks like as you can see it looks good it looks nice yeah they are well designed the design of it i think it's comfortable when you sit here okay uh, as you can see these are just fabric they are not leather then uh, on the spacing i think the spacing is quite nice you can see here the leg room and also the headroom i think it is enough unless if you are very tall that would be a problem so, so, uh, yeah if you want some more space for your luggage space or boot section then you can 
lower down these seats to get this very large space uh, we'll get to open the the boot and see how much space we get uh, when we lower down these seats so, so. so let us just see that so the opener is just below the emblem here yes so we just push it and uh, it opens all the way it's, uh, it's quite wide gives you a very large space to access your boot section yeah so this is the boot section you get some lighting for your uh, boot side you have the places where you can hang a few things here or some hooks where you can put some stuff then you can see that you have this very large space all of all the way from here to the other side so, so, so this is a very large space for you okay yeah so i think these are all about the boot space then you get your spares on the lower side the jacks the screws and everything you get it on the lower side plus your pump so so, so all those comes in as a standard you get it when you purchase the car so, so. you also have a rear camera over here yeah so that also improves on your safety okay when you are reversing you have a rear wipers over here okay that's very nice i love also the color it looks very nice so all the way to the front it looks the same from the other side no much differences but i like how sloppy it is it looks so nice it cuts through the ear i think that also improves on the speed and a number of things so, so. so let us get into the biggest part that most people want to see so so, so this is the front side this is the right door uh, here in kenya we drive on the right side so you get this door here that is not very heavy it's somehow light not very very heavy yeah get this plastic material here that goes all the way to this side so so and then you have i don't know which material it is but it feels more of plastic you have a chrome door handle you have this fake carbon yeah i don't know if it's real but it's fake but it looks like carbon here so so you have these fabric parts Mm -hmm. then you have uh, real leather here this leather is very soft i think because this is uh, an armrest so it has to be leather that is very well stitched okay then uh, this is your door handle and at the same time it can act as a storage compartment you can put some few things here you have your controls for your windows uh, all your four windows you can control them from here and also the controls for your side mirrors are here down here you get a uh, space for your water bottle so anything that you want to place it you have adequate space you have a very nice speaker i don't know if this is from uh what do we call it anyway that uh, has gone away from my mind when i remember we'll talk about it now this is how the interior looks like uh, this is the general look of the interior this is the general look of the interior it looks nice uh, and it, I think it's a nice feature that the outside is black and also the interior is black. I think it matches very well. But the only part is when it is hot, like here in Mombasa, the interior tends to get extremely hot. Sour, sour. Yeah, down here you have these very nice mats that has a uh, Impreza Sport uh, stitching on it. Sour, sour. Yeah, so as you can see, these are very much well stitched down there. Then you have uh, this button here that you can use it to open your fuel cup, okay? So, so. Then uh, you get your push to start engine, headlight adjusters over here, and some other controls for your headlights. You get your very nice air vents that have chrome finishing on the sides here. You have also this brushed chrome finish here. I don't know if it's the real chrome, but it's somehow plasticky. Okay, uh, now this is the steering wheel. Uh, this is how the dash looks like looks like uh, from the steering wheel okay now it looks so nice uh, this is a leather steering with some controls on this side for your infotainment system and controls here for your cruise control setup over here okay lane departure lane assist and some more things you have your paddle shifters you can paddle down from this side then can also paddle up from this other side then you have your clusters in front there you have this nice subaru emblem on this side you have display for your mpgs usually it sits there and then you have a very nice panasonic uh, infotainment system that is in english i hope so as you can see from here but it has some japanese features you get air vents also on this side and also on this other side so, so you have uh, your buttons here there are only two buttons yeah i think this is for your power and for the speed then i this is to seek and i don't know to go back or something like that but it is nice it is a very nice feature uh controls for your climate you have them here it's a auto 
I don't know if it's a dual zone, but yeah, it is nice. You have uh, your hazard button over here. Yeah, it activates your hazards. Okay, some more controls for your AC over here. And then you have this nice space. Yeah, then you can put a number of things. It has two USBs. Yeah, uh, five volt USB outputs over here. So, so then you have a 12 volt output on this other side. So, so you have a gear lever that has a piano black plastic finish on top of it and then you have a button on the other side very nice is this piano black finishing here also electronic parking brake heel descent assist yep you your space for your cup holders some spacing i don't know for what then on this side you have uh, your deep storage it has a 12 volt output inside it and this tray here where you can put things here now on the other side uh, of the dash it looks good you have a number of things you see this very nice stitching that goes all the way to the other side you have your airbags here your air vents you have this uh, finishing here that also looks like brushed chrome you have a plastic covering on the glove compartment that gives you some very large space okay so that's a nice touch the passenger door looks like the driver's side but it lacks those controls that are standard on the driver's side okay then here you have these seats that is very nice these are fabric seats and i don't think they are heated and ventilated of course they are not they are very nice here you have an armrest that acts as the cover to your storage space here you can see this very nice stitching and now this is very very soft here so you have an armrest on this side and then also you have another armrest on this other side so, so. On top here you get your eyesight Subaru, your eyesight technology for your Subarus of course, pre-collision monitoring system and also lane departure assist, you can switch it off from here, then your interior lighting system, it's all here. Okay, so apart from that we don't have any other features there. You have your rear view mirror over here, you have your visors on this side, which when you open the light goes on and also you have your mirror over here. So, so, so these are nice features here. So if you want this Subaru then you can get it at uh, how much now this is the key fob as you can see it is nice yeah i can lock and unlock it from here i don't know if it uh yeah as you can see it has go on you get your mpgs on that side you have your subaru system over here and then you have these pads here that illuminates at night okay so it is very nice looking <laughs> the sound of this Subaru as you can see it is a sports Subaru as you can see Impreza Sport so that's how nice it sounds then you get a very low mileage 151,000 only okay yeah so that's it I think you've seen what you wanted to see here okay and then you have a very nice infotainment system that is very much active okay so see you in the next one Yep, yeah, so Subaru says goodbye. See you in the next one. Thank you so much.